1995, we were just learning that we could actually make new brain. The stem cells that we still have floating all around in our heads, even at my age, uh, are able to be stimulated to become something, a neuron. They morph into a new brain cell. So how does that happen? Well, it has to have some stimulus. I think I was the first to begin to look at sigma-1 in the context of neuroprotection and neuroregeneration and how to drive that sigma-1 with these neurosteroids to protect the brain as a helmet on the inside of your head and to regenerate new cells, uh, new brain cells, new connectivity, and to specifically drive that sigma-1 to make the cell you want. So pregnenolone is a really important hormone, and uh, it's the mother hormone of all the hormones. Uh, everything comes from that. So you have cholesterol up here, and then from that, you, your body generates pregnenolone in the cell from the sigma-1 receptor, and then that cell, uh, and then it's converted from pregnenolone to cortisone, to DHEA, to progesterone, to estrogen, to testosterone. Everything comes from pregnenolone. Pregnenolone is the neurosteroid that makes brain. It makes everything. Do I want to repair whole brain, like in a traumatic brain injury, a car wreck victim, a motorcycle accident, a concussion? Then I want to drive everything with pregnenolone. So now that we know specific mechanisms of, of making the stem cells become what we want them to become via these neurosteroids, science can move forward with regeneration of brain tissue. It's fantastic.